is John Pardon, who will be our next speaker. He's speaking about representation, representability theorems for the moduli spaces of pseudo-holomorphic curves. Thank you very much for the invitation to give this talk. Uh, about eight years ago, a little over eight years ago, I uh, was at MIT giving a talk on a similar subject, and I made, I made some effort to make it accessible um, to everyone, and there were lots of questions. People came up and um, asked lots of questions after the talk, and Tom also came up and asked some questions. We, we, we talked a little bit, and, 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 and then he said, well, to heck with about what, what anybody else gets out of the talk. He, he would much prefer I just started at the point I ended my talk and, and, and say whatever comes after that. Um, so, um, so I hope to uh, fulfill that eight-year-old request now by, by covering, covering more ground. <laughs> okay, so, so I'll, I'll, there, there, there are three parts. Um, part Part one is, um, is the transverse case. And I'm, my excuse for, for spending any time at all discussing this is um, that it's an excuse to, to set notation for, for what's going to happen later. So, so let's consider C, uh, Riemann surface, and we'll assume that it's compact. And X um, will be our almost complex Manifold. Um, right, so I'll, I'll denote by uh, whole CX is the is the space of um, of pseudo holomorphic maps. From C to X. So um, a space really here is, is, is in quotes here because, because sort of the whole theme of the talk is to, is to say what exactly do we, do we mean by space of holomorphic maps. There are quite a, quite a few different sorts of structures one might a attempt to put on, on this sort of space. Okay. Um, one uh, initial thing to say about this space is you can write it um, as this fiber product the space of all maps from C to X, um, and we look at the space of maps from C to, I guess, uh, TX tensor RC bar. Um, this is a map associating to um, a map U, the anti-holomorphic part of this differential, and this is the zero map. Oh, yeah, so the fiber product is just the, the locus of maps U with du zero, one equals zero. And, and this map I might also call bold D. Okay, so at, at the um, most basic sort of structure we could put on everything here. Um, is we could say everything um, is a topological space, and we have the topology of C infinity convergence on, on these spaces. Okay, uh, an aside, at least on, on this space in the upper left-hand corner, holomorphic maps from C to X, there is also reasonable to contemplate um, topologies like the CK topology or the C0 topology. Now, for k sufficiently large, the CK topology agrees with the C infinity topology, um, just using using straightforward elliptic regularity. Um, in fact, the C zero topology also agrees with the C infinity topology. Um, you need a, uh, some some slightly more specific a priori estimates to do that, called the gromov schwartz lemma. But I don't want to get into that as far as um, as far as I know. This is the only topology you really ever um, care about on the space, and um, somehow coincidence that can, can coincide with other topologies. Okay, so so what does this space look like locally? Well, um, 
Oakley. This fiber product diagram. Equivalent um, to one of the form um, capital F inverse of zero going to a point going to Rn going to Rm. So F is just some smooth map from Rn to Rm. And um, this in inverse image of zero under F is a local model for, um, for, for this topological, topological space. Now, um, so I think um, the audience may correct me, but the, 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 the references I've seen for, the, this is a very old, um, old picture. The references I've seen for, um, for this fact that this, well, really any moduli space of solutions to a nonlinear elliptic PDE has local charts of this form. It's usually attributed to Kuranishi and separately Atia, I don't have it on here. Um, Atia Singer and Hitchin. Yes. Hitchin. Sixty-five. In this. So this map F is often called the, the Kurinishi map. Great. So, so there's, um, there's one um, situation in which uh, this is sort of easy to understand, and that's when uh, the limit differential is surjective. So if um, we have U, a holomorphic map, then we can look at the, the linearized the linearization of, of this map D that goes here. Oops, I got the domain wrong. The upper star Tx. Um, and this is equivalent to the differential of this function. F, capital F at U from, from Rn to, to Rm. So we say U is regular or transverse uh, when DU is surjective or equivalently when this uh, fine dimensional model, fine dimensional reduction F is surjective. And so then, then in, in that case, the implicit function theorem tells me that F inverse of zero is a manifold and, um, and so whole CX is also a manifold. So, so being regular is open, open condition. Regularity is open. Um, so we denote by LCX reg the open locus of, 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 of map. So, so the proposition uh, which I'm going to need to explain what it means is that whole CX reg representable by a smooth manifold. So this is a, uh, a very, uh, very classical result. And but I, I need to tell you what it means. There's a slightly different uh, what, way of formulating it than, than it's usually formulated as. So I'm going to declare that. So uh, let, let's 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 fix some notation. This will be the category of smooth manifolds. And we declare a map from Z to 
C infinity A B be smooth um, then only if this map from um, Z cross A to B is smooth. So, so here um, Z and A and B are all smooth manifolds. So this is my def definition of what it means to have a smooth map from Z to this space. And then you can use this fiber product description to say what it means to have a smooth map from, from Z to whole CX. So whole CX is now a functor on smooth manifolds and this the content of the result is that that functor is represented by a smooth manifold. Okay, um, how do you prove it? Well, how, 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 is, this, how, how is this usually approached? So um, you choose uh, a Sobolev completion sort of arbitrarily uh, say HS, HS regularity classes about maps from um, here and here. Um, so let's see, that, that maps takes a derivative, so I guess I need HS here and HS minus one here. Um, the point of doing that is, is so that now you have Banach manifolds. Here, these C infinity spaces are Frechet manifolds. Um, you, it's a little bit harder to apply inverse function theorem for Frechet manifolds. So you pick a Sobolev completion, they become Banach manifolds. Surjectivity of the linearization now implies that this um, uh, this fiber product here this this is a smooth manifold, smooth submanifold of HS C F M S. So that's a, a um, gives you a chart for whole C X um, from a, from an open set in R N, and um, I claim it represents the, the, this functor, and that's not. Um, that has some content in it because a priori, well, what it means to be smooth to that is to sort of have a, have a, smooth, have a, have a family like this where in, 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 the, in the A direction, so the A, it's smooth in the Z direction, but of HS regularity in the A direction. Okay, but elliptic regularity is going to tell us that in the A direction, it's, um, it's in fact smooth. Okay, and I, 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 want, I want to make a point here, which is that, okay, I have this topological space. Suppose I want to prove like it's a topological manifold. Well, that's a property. And so this, the argument I just gave, it, it produces a locally Euclidean chart for this, so it proves it's a topological manifold. Now, suppose I want to end out with a smooth structure. Well, a smooth structure is extra structure, and so, it's not enough to just specify it locally. I also need to um, show that the, the local charts, they, they, the transition maps between them are smooth. Um, however, um, if I first define whole CX reg as, as a functor on the category of smooth manifolds, then uh, you know, re representability is a local property now. It's a local property. It's not structure. It's an extra, it, it's, it's just a, a property. So I can verify it locally using this, and I don't, I, argument I just, said in words, and I don't have to check that, that the transition maps are smooth. Okay. Um, right, so, so there's a family version of the, same, of the same thing. So if B is a smooth manifold, I can look at, um, well, let's, let's just keep things simple, C to B is a family, smooth family of Riemann surfaces, proper compact fibers. Um, and then I can, I can define a parameterized moduli functor by saying the map from Z to, to, to this space is the same thing as a diagram so that you choose this map from uh, Z to B, you, you pull back family and then you choose a map like this. So you choose this bottom map here and you choose this map here which is supposed to be due to holomorphic on fibers. And, 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 and again, you, you can describe this um, by a corresponding fiber, fiber product diagram where you use parameterized smooth maps on all those cases. Okay, so, so basically the same, same argument applies 
um, to show that if you take this regular locus in the parameterized thing, this is also. Representable. Okay, so so you can also let B be any smooth stack, such as um, maybe you want um, stack of all. Um, modulized stack of, of smooth Riemann surfaces. Compact. Okay, so 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 in this case, um, the, okay, there's there's a universal family over it. So this uh, parameterized modulized space. Now, what is it? It's it's maps up to to reparameterization. And this is important because that, that's usually what we, um, what we actually want to study. It's, 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 it's a rare that um, you, you want to actually consider this just the space of pseudo holomorphic maps. You want the quotient by, by some equivalence relation. What is U? It's the universal family over B. I could just call it C. Let me just call it C and then remark this C to B is the universal family. Yeah, so, so if I have a, so if C is a category and, and I have a functor from C up to sets, then it's called representable. Um, when it's isomorphic as functors to this um, functor of Hamm's to some object. It's a, you can't see it in the definition, but it's a few lines argument to, to see that um, this object X representing F is, is unique up to unique isomorphism. So, so if I um, tell you the functor with the property being representable, then, then I've also told you the object. Okay, so 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 a corollary is that um, regular locus is also a smooth stack. And B is a smooth stack. And the proof is well. Let's take. Um, E bar to B to be to be an atlas, meaning E bar is a smooth manifold, and and uh, this map F uh, is a surjective submersion. Then, well, the, the the formation of this moduli space is sort of, for trivial reasons, com compatible with pullback. So. is a fiber square. Um, and moreover, the, the inverse image of the regular locus here is exactly the regular locus here. So since this map is a surjective submersion, so is this one. This one's representable. So, so that's an atlas for, for this. OK, now you might complain a little bit and say, well, smooth stack is a little bit too general of an object that can be pretty bad. I prefer my moduli spaces to be orbifolds. Um, so, so there's a theorem, and this was conjectured by Weinstein and uh, proved uh, sometime later by, by Zung. So it's a, 
this is a this is a non-trivial statement. So um, and the statement is this: move back proper diagonal. Um, locally isomorphic to, to V mod G for G compactly group and a finite dimensional representation of G. My proper diagonal is an analog of the, the house darkness condition. So, so in, in, in any moduli space that you're going to really be doing anything with at all, you probably have, have, have that. So the statement, uh, it, it, if, if you think about what it means, you, your, your first guess is that, well, it sort of has a similar flavor to this, you know, just av averaging argument. So, you know, if you have a, if you have a, a section of a vector bundle and, and, and the, the base space, and it's an equivariant vector bundle, uh, but the section might not be equivariant, then you can average it over the action of G to get an equivariant section, the, this sort of thing. That's the sort of argument you'd like to, you'd like to execute to prove that result, but, uh, but actually, it's, it's, it's in fact not just some, some averaging. It's, okay. Okay, so part two. Part two is about gluing into corners. So if we have a, if we have a um, so the holomorphic curve, the holomorphic map, which looks like this. So there's two points in, in the domain which map to the same point in the target, then uh, you know, up to finite dimensional construction, you can glue and to obtain something, something like that. And, 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 and the local model uh, you have to know that that, of that gluing is, um, is the space, the multiplication map. X, Y, lambda. So this is with the fiber over zero, and this is the fiber over lambda. Okay, now the, the sort of inverse operation where you have a sequence of curves um, which approach something like this um, by, take, by having a neck to stretch um, is called bubbling. I guess maybe bubbling is only the right term when, the, when one of the components is a, is a sphere. But and, and anyway, um, this often happens in, in moduli spaces. You need it uh, to, for, the, uh, for the moduli space to be um, Packed. Um, that's due to Ullman back in a, in, a, in a general setting, and then Gromov pursued the holomorphic curves specifically. Um, so, so we'd like to understand um, moduli space near near through the holomorphic maps near a point like this, and and this is um, the cause of many headaches. Uh, so it's, it's it's not clear what exactly the structure should be. So I want to talk about the notion of a log smooth manifold to, to capture what's going on here. And this is a notion which um, well, all the essential components of, of the definition are due to Melrose, although he didn't write down the definition I'm, I'm going to write down. Um, it, it was clear, I think, from the beginning that the definition Melrose gave is relevant to this sort of problem. Uh, Parker definitely wrote down the, the, the class of smooth functions which are relevant and um, Joyce made basically the definition I'm about to, about to say here. Okay, so, so let's say P is a, is a, a real polyhedral cone 
And then XP is this uh, harm from P to positive real numbers. Um, this is this is a lo lo sort of local model of a real torque variety. If you if you pick some some vectors which generate P, then and, and you try to write down what the space is in terms of in terms of that basis, well not a basis but vectors generating P, then you'll realize it's a subset of an orthant to cut up by some some monomial equations. Okay, um, so just to understand sort of topologically what's going on, in fact XP homeomorphic to P. This is unnaturally, as you might expect, it's sort of a dual, uh, but it's, it's homeomorphic to P, unnaturally homeomorphic. And this is as stratified spaces, as spaces stratified by the faces of P. So that tells you a little bit about what it looks like. Okay, so, so the, now, now the key notion is, is what it means for a function on one of these things to be smooth. So to each E in P, you get a one form. Um, which I guess I should write as D of log X of P. So X is the coordinate on X of P. P is, P is uh, the element of P. So, so any, any element of P gives me a function X of P. That's a function from X P to the positive, the non-negative reals, just evaluation of X. I take log of it and, and, and D of that. So, so for example, on the half line is the x associated to the half line. Um, then we get uh, dx over x. That's and that's the only thing you get. So that's um, and, and and we just declare that this these are a basis. Cotangent bundle of XP. So making this declaration, we get a notion, there, 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 there is a notion of, of smoothness. So if you have a map, um, we can pull back. One forms and say dualize to define a map from TXP to TXQ. I, I just defined for you the tangent space. Um, um, so I say F is uh, CK if and only if uh, TF exists and is. CK minus one. C zero just means continuous, so we have a notion of smoothness. Uh, this is getting very abstract, so let's make, um, let's give an example. So, um, my notation for the, the space associated to a half line is this R greater than or equal to zero with a, with a prime on it. Prime just indicates I'm, I'm regarding it as a log smooth manifold. So if I have a map from Like this, I'll call this map F. Yes. This is a map F. Um, it's a map of log topological spaces. So, so a map like this, I'd, I'd like to write it in, in log coordinates. So this is R union minus infinity, R union minus infinity. Perhaps my coordinates are x here and 
s in here. So I guess that makes s log x and x e to the s. Okay, so I, I can I can get my map here, g. So here, so f is smooth. The output of this definition is that f is smooth if and only if g um, of s is equal to a times s plus little o of one the infinity. So and a is just a non-negative real number. This is as s goes to minus infinity. Okay, so you can also take take products like u um, across this, and this is a model for like a, a cylindrical end model on on u. And then you can ask for what, what, what are the class of smooth functions on this space? Well, they're the smooth, they're the functions which are smooth and which converge as you take s to infinity to some 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 C, C infinity converge to some C infinity function on U. Um, now, if you want, you can also um, sort of just change the definition to require this um, little o of one um, to be, say, um, you know, big O of e to the minus delta s for some delta, um, if, if you like. That, that's relevant at some points, I believe. Okay, so what's, um, how do I want to, use this. So local model for nodal resolution would be S1 times two half lines going to a single half line. And this is the map xy goes to x times y. And the thing to notice about this map is that its derivative sends x uh, dx to lambda d lambda and y d, dy um, to lambda d lambda. So, so it's surjective. On tangent spaces. Despite the fact that it's not a trivial vibration, locally trivial vibration. Okay, so it seems sort of like a a magic trick. But okay, one 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 of the things this means is that this vibration, which looks like, which is not locally trivial, um, it has a connection. I can lift the. Um, Vectors on the there's a I can choose a, map, a a way of lifting vectors on the base to vectors on on the total space, and that's what you need in order to define a a smooth structure on one of these uh, parameterized moduli spaces. You need to be able to differentiate in the in the base direction, and that's the thing which um, which you could not do if you if you just viewed this as a sort of map of smooth manifolds. Okay, so proposition would be that um, if B is a log smooth manifold and C to B, the family of Riemann surfaces with simple breaking, which means locally modeled on, on this, um, then then this parameterized moduli space is um, is representable. It's a log smooth manifold. Okay, and once you set up the definitions, there's somehow nothing to prove. So okay, so part part three for any few structures. Okay, so um, SM was my cat was, was the category of smooth manifolds. Um, so there's a category called category of Kronichi spaces, and it's an, an enlargement of 
of the category of, of these manifolds. And, and, and the purpose of this category of Kronichi spaces is um, have all fiber products of smooth manifolds. And um, that they should remember their, their fiber product presentation locally, at least modulo transverse fiber products of, of smooth manifolds. So you'll recall at the beginning, I said moduli space of pseudo-holomorphic curves is locally described by Kronichi charts. Those Kronichi charts are well defined up to, you know, this up to, you know, up to transverse fiber products of smooth manifolds. Okay. So, um, okay. So I should I should write some some names here. I guess the first name is Kurinishi, which I already wrote. Um, there's also I oh no, who gave a, a very complicated definition for for what um, what you could possibly mean by by gluing together agreement of Kurinishi charts um, developed later by Kai o Oto, oh no. But it was Joyce who really defined this, um, this as a category. And we really need it as a category if we're gonna be taking fiber products or trying to, trying to represent functors. Um, okay, so let me skip the, uh, the, 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 the definition of a, of a Kurinishi space. I, um, if someone asks me later, I can give it. Um, so, We can define this parameterized moduli space um, as as before. As this fiber product, where for now um, I define these C infinity mapping spaces at, um, as functors on Kurinishi spaces in the natural way. A map from Z to C infinity AB is simply a map from Z cross A to B for smooth manifolds A and B. If that defines a, a functor on smooth manifolds, I take the fiber product of all of these, that's, that's holomorphic maps. Okay, and, 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 uh, Proposition is that um, this um, is representable. So it, it, it is a, a Kurinishi space. Now, um, this, this, this was uh, conjectured by Joyce. Um, and in fact, really the, the, the conjecture of Joyce is, 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 is the two things somehow, that there should be a way of defining a, he didn't define the moduli functor in this way, he did conjecture there should be a, a um, some way of defining a moduli functor on Kurinishi spaces such that this is representable with, and, and it is, somehow, is, is the thing we want. Okay, let me give a, a proof. So it's, I mean, once, once you have the, the category of Kurinishi, spaces set up, it looks like the proof is going to be uh, basically trivial. And, and, and the reason is the following. Well, so, okay, so first of all, as I remarked earlier, it's a local assertion. Okay, so all I have to prove is that this 
local Kuranishi chart you get from the, the classical theory actually, actually represents this factor. Okay. So um, how would we do that? So let's fix, fix a U and prove it locally. So what I'd like to do is expand, just expand the parameter space. So this is the thing that um, you always do in this situation. So this is B. And, 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 and this is B prime. So we're, we're in smooth manifolds here. B, B is a smooth manifold. Um, you extend your parameter space, and, and you vary the almost complex structures on X and C over B prime in such a way to guarantee that um, uh, this point U is when regarded in this bigger moduli space, is regular. This is sort of trivial because you can define, you can just choose uh, B, you can choose B prime arbitrarily. So you can choose it so that variations in the direction normal to B uh, fill out the extra finite dimensional co kernel of this, the linearized operator. Okay, so then, um, as I remarked before, formation of this is, is compatible with. Um, With, um, for, with, with pullback, and so we have this cipher diagram. This is a regular locus represented by smooth manifold by what we, um, by sort of trivial classical fact that I um, mentioned earlier. And now we have a, f um, now this is a fiber product of smooth manifold, smooth manifold, smooth manifold, smooth manifold. So we're done. Except there's a, there's a big except. So I, I, I slip something past you here, which is that um, earlier in the talk, I showed that the regular locus as a functor on smooth manifolds is, is, is represented by a smooth manifold. And here, what I need in this proof is that the regular locus is represented by a smooth manifold as a functor on the category of Kuranishi spaces. And these are different statements. Except, I need to check. If we take this, um, regular locus as a functor on smooth manifolds, and I push it forward to the category of Kuranishi spaces at that, um, is the same thing as the regular locus as a functor on, on Kuranishi space. And, and, and this requires um, quite a bit of work to, to actually prove. You have to understand what exactly goes on um, when, you, when you extend a functor from smooth manifolds to Kuranishi spaces in this formal con extension way. Um, you have to prove that this preserves finite products, and this requires some geometry of, of Kuranishi spa spaces. Okay, I'm done. Well, you sort of want to take the the, the push out of parts two and part three over part one. Yeah. Yeah, so, so one thing you want to do, for example, is, um, well, if all points were regular, you'd have a smooth manifold, and maybe the Bordism class of that smooth manifold is a is a good invariant of, of, of something. Um, 
Now, in, in, most, in, in too many cases, you cannot ensure that the regular locus is everything. Um, but this Kuranishi space, whatever it is, you, know, you, you can form bordism of it, and it's the, it's the same as bordism of, of smooth manifolds. Or not, 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 no. Somet sometimes it's the same, sometimes it's a little bit more interesting. But it has an, it's an algebra topological um, invariant, which you couldn't get just from, say, topological space structure. Um, I guess the gauge group action probably would correspond to diffeomorphisms of, of C. Maybe if I took my, took sort of the space of all almost complex structures on C and then and had the gauge group acting. Um, I guess the most I have here are finite dimensional uh, groups acting. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of taking as input that there's a nice finite dimensional smooth stack of Riemann surfaces, which is where the uh, gauge group is living. <laughs> 